We've got 18 illegal deer that we're looking at. Um, and on your search warrant, you may notice that the deer are labeled with a number, 16-1, 14-2. That's a, a number that I've assigned to them based on the year and what buck he took, what number that year he took. You're going to probably find other deer when you're searching that are going to be questionable. What happened here? What happened there? If you find those, note those. Don't take them unless you know for sure that they're illegal, but note those. And we'll try through the interview process to determine whether they're illegal or not. Michigan conservation officers perform duties to protect the state's natural resources and keep the citizens of Michigan safe. Occasionally, COs will spend many months or even years researching a case or suspect to make sure people who commit crimes are brought to justice. Frequently, after this in-depth police work, conservation officers must utilize search warrants to proceed towards a resolution of these complex cases. District 5 officer Casey Pullum is leading a multi-district investigation where he and his team must serve search warrants to gather evidence. CO Pullum has been working this case for more than three months after another officer initiated the case and passed it along to Officer Pullum. We got uh, a suspect here that has taken multiple deer over the course of many years. Uh, the records we have go back to 2012. Um, so we're going to be looking for all those deer that that he took without licenses. Uh, we've got pretty good evidence that that uh, he did not purchase license or he purchased license after the fact. Uh, whatever the case, it, they're, they're illegal deer. So um, hopefully today we can get into these houses. We got GPS location on where these deer should be um, based on cell phone records and such uh, and be able to to collect that evidence. In Michigan's District 9, there are three different residences Please search warrant. where Officer Pullum and his team intend to serve such warrants in Genesee County. Based on talking with other veteran officers, this is one of the largest search warrants uh, in, a, in a number of years that our department's done. Um, obviously, we've done uh, equivalent in the past, but um, it doesn't happen that often for our department. So. Um, I, I'm eager that we're going to be successful in prosecuting this case. We can obtain the evidence and then prosecuting the case uh, later on. CO Pullum's team consists of almost 20 officers, including lieutenants, sergeants, and detectives. They want to arrive at three Genesee County residences at the exact same time. If we execute one search warrant, our suspect kind of gets uh, an idea that we are looking for some evidence. To watch this entire episode on Outdoor Channel, contact your TV provider today.